Let's take a deep dive into the slippery world of semen retention. This ancient practice, now a social media darling, is swimming in both fascination and skepticism. But what does the science say? Semen retention, or NOFAP, is not a recent trend, but a practice rooted in Taoism. This philosophy suggests that avoiding ejaculation conserves life force. Fast forward to the present, and it's a subject of immense curiosity, especially on social media. With over 1.2 billion impressions on TikTok alone, it's clear that semen retention has, ironically, made a splash. Amidst its rising popularity, semen retention is surrounded by a myriad of claims. These nofappers advocate for a range of benefits, including improved fertility, heightened testosterone levels, and overall enhanced physical health. However, these assertions, largely proliferated through social media platforms like TikTok and Instagram and now YouTube, rest on shaky grounds. In fact, content related to semen retention on these platforms scored a dismal 1.5 out of 5 on an accuracy scale, indicating a high prevalence of misinformation. This gap in accurate information is concerning, especially considering the significant following the topic has garnered, with over 1.2 billion impressions on TikTok alone. But if so much of the content includes misinformation, what are the hard truths about semen retention? The scientific evidence available on semen retention paints a complex and not entirely clear picture. The most commonly cited studies in this domain are those by Exton et al. and Jang et al., which investigated the effects of short-term abstinence on testosterone levels in men. Exton et al.'s study, involving just 10 participants, found that men experienced significantly higher basal testosterone levels during and after sexual arousal, as well as more intense orgasms after a three-week period of abstinence. Jang et al.'s research, with a slightly larger sample of 28 men, reported that testosterone levels increased by 145.7% from baseline after one week of abstinence. However, this study also noted a significant decline in testosterone levels starting from the eighth day of abstinence. These findings suggest a potential short-term boost in testosterone levels due to semen retention, but they are based on very small sample sizes. This raises questions about the generalizability and reliability of the results. Additionally, the studies do not delve into the long-term impacts of semen retention or its effects on overall health and well-being. The complexity of these results underscores the need for more extensive research with larger participant groups to validate or refute these initial findings and to explore other physiological effects that semen retention might have. However, when it comes to fertility, the story gets a bit testy. While short-term abstinence might temporarily pump up semen volume and sperm count, Prolonged semen retention has a detrimental effect on semen quality. Studies indicate that sperm quality, including motility and genetic or DNA health, begins to deteriorate after extended periods of abstinence. Specifically, after five days, sperm motility decreases and the genetic health of sperm, such as DNA fragmentation, worsens significantly. Moreover, semen retention beyond 11 days leads to more than double the amount of sperm with DNA damage, indicating a clear decline in sperm quality with longer periods of retention. Regarding testosterone levels, the evidence is limited and inconsistent. Some studies report an increase in testosterone after short periods of abstinence, such as a week, However, this effect does not appear to be long-term, being as fleeting as a teenage crush. For example, one study observed higher testosterone levels after a three-week abstinence period, but these levels did not change significantly after the subjects ejaculated. Other research comparing testosterone levels in men engaging in sexual activity versus those abstaining found higher increases in testosterone in the sexually active. Overall, these studies suggest that any correlation between abstinence and testosterone levels is short-term, and there is no robust evidence that semen retention effectively addresses low testosterone levels. Stick to the end for the hard truth of semen retention and no fap. Contrary to semen retention, regular ejaculation may actually offer several health benefits. An 18-year study published in the European Urology Journal found that men who ejaculated more than 20 times a month had a 20% lower risk of developing prostate cancer. Additionally, regular ejaculation through sex or masturbation can boost feel-good hormones like oxytocin and dopamine, thereby reducing stress and depression. It also improves sleep quality, lowers the risk of heart disease and keeps sexual organs healthy, enhancing body confidence and sexual well-being. So semen retention might actually be keeping you from a range of health benefits. Now, let's tackle the touchy topic of blue balls, or as doctors call it, epididymal hypertension. This condition caused by prolonged arousal without release leads to a feeling of discomfort and pressure in the testes due to increased blood pressure in the epididymis, a structure above the testicles. 
And no, contrary to popular belief, it doesn't turn them blue. It's more of an uncomfortable blue than a bruised blue. While not harmful, it underscores that there can be negative physical responses to semen retention, especially while edging. What about the mental and emotional health benefits of semen retention? The correlation between ejaculation frequency and mental health outcomes remains poorly understood and under-researched. While some online communities, like NoFap, advocate for abstinence from masturbation to strengthen mental and physical health, increase self-confidence and enhance social interactions, there is no substantial scientific evidence supporting these claims. The literature on potential effects of ejaculation frequency on general and mental health outcomes is sparse, and reasons for this knowledge gap include a general lack of interest, methodological challenges, and existing superstition. Trends like semen retention and NoFap could even be doing damage by perpetuating stigma around masturbation. There is even a case study of a man who developed depression due to guilt about masturbating, who was successfully treated by being educated about male sexual sexuality and masturbation. Some culture-bound syndromes, like the Dart syndrome in India, describe semen loss anxiety with symptoms resembling anxiety disorders. In contrast, regular ejaculation can boost mental health with the feel-good hormones oxytocin and dopamine, reducing stress and depression and improving sleep which also helps mental health in a virtuous cycle. For those practicing semen retention for personal or spiritual reasons, a balanced understanding of the potential risks and the absence of strong evidence supporting its health claims is essential. Despite social movements focusing on perceived mental and social benefits like better health and increased masculinity, scientific evidence seems to suggest that the hard truth might actually be that regular ejaculation is healthier for you. Subscribe and watch this next.